Another video on riveting, this time um, countersunk riveting. I'm making some brackets for Goddington. Um, there's more to be added onto them, but um, for the moment, this is enough. Um, typically, with uh, rivets, you'd see um, another sort of dome shaped bit on the other side, um, but these are flush on there because um, I countersunk this and then have hammered it down in so that it hammers flat. So another one um, that I'm working on, I'm about to rivet now. Um, same process as in uh, my other vi riveting video. This is one that I've um, just done. I'm not gonna get too close because it's hot. And there's one that's to be done. So same as the other one. There's um, rivet head tool. So that's got the impression, impression of the rivet head rivet head sits down into that and get the tail hot and hammer it down into it. Um, there probably are calculations that you can do to figure out how much rivet tail you need um, to, fill the, to fill the countersunk space but I'm just kind of doing it on experience. Um, the, ignore the other hole that's for a coach screw, a coach screw to go through.